Oh, camera. camera. Mark it. Bottle. Scene 8, then 12. Slate 45, we'll take 10. Action. My name's David Holsell. I'm producer and writer of the, the film Bottle. It's a story about Lee and his girlfriend, Kelly, who are normal people growing up in a, an ex-mill town in yes. North England. And Lee has a little bit of luck. He gets a lottery kit ticket, which gets him in the attention of Ryan, a drug dealer of his acquaintance. And his good luck turns into bad luck. And the film is explaining about how he deals with that. Everything he seems to do goes wrong after winning the lottery ticket, but it does have a happy ending. So this is day one, pub scene. And let's see how it goes. If we get today done, everything will go well in the next two days. Yeah, but I need the money. Yeah. We're talking about getting a, get a flat and leave my license so I can get a driving job. Driving job. You know, it's generous quite a time, you know. Yeah, it'll be starting on a. My name is Katarina Palke. I'm the script supervisor for this shoot, which is a, a community funded uh, project. So. Walks in, put string down, sit down. Cheers, he is. So, yeah, this lottery man looks like it was two or three grand, man. Something like that. Like I said, I've got a proposition for you. Action! Cheers, he is. So, this lottery man only had two or three grand, man. Something like that. Like I was saying, explicitly this proposition, I've got a business opportunity. I don't know, man. Why don't you know? Where are you going to get that kind of money from, Lee? Don't be soft. Can you trust your uncle Ryan? Very well. Yeah. Okay. Are you busy? Yeah, well, I'm yeah. trying to. Um, I'm trying to be busy. It's not what I'm doing, innit? Yeah. My name's Lewis Todd. I'm Quinn from Keyflow, and I play Lee in the film Bottle. Uh, Bottle's about uh, young people being unemployed and having the easy temptation of going to crime and getting easy money. Unlike a lot of film projects are about the film, this one, because it's the kind of project that it is, uh, it's as much about the experience and what people have gained from it and uh, the, uh, the chance to get uh, a first-hand feel for what filmmaking is about. First film, yeah. First professional film. How's it gone for you? Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> It takes a lot of hard work. It's not, it's because I'm used to doing theatre, so I'm not used to being in front of a camera. And it's like learning new things, like an aeroplane will go past, it'll affect the whole footage, and then we'll have to record again. And yeah, but it's brilliant, it's great. I couldn't have asked for a better role, really. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, really, I'm really enjoying the film. It's a different experience, you know, it's quite hands on. and. Uh, you get to become the character the more you get into the script and the more it uh, flows naturally, the more it feels right, you know. Well, I'm Lloyd, uh, I'm an actor from Manchester. Uh, I'm playing Ryan, who is a, um, he's a small time drug dealer who's um, quite vindictive, uh, manipulating, um, and he likes, to, um, he, he likes to take advantage and bully people into, into situations, really. What? Why am I still standing here? Tomorrow. Bring it tomorrow. And are you enjoying the role? I am. I am. I love playing the Mario role. <laughs> it's, uh, it's my multi ego, so it's great. Hi, my name's Wally Kelly. I've been acting for nine years, and in Bottle, I play Detective Sergeant Rammer. Talking about strangers, let's talk about your mate Ryan now. Ryan? Yeah, well, the is Ryan. Hey, you are too. It's actually quite nice in a short film where something good happens to the lead protagonist. Because a lot of these short films is loads of rape, violence, death, and misery at the end of it. It's good to see teenagers actually in good evening. Basically, the first assistant director uh, is the manager of the entire film. So, my job is to solve all the issues that everyone have during the day from parking through to 
or my mind. Um, and then of course, um, when we're actually filming, my job is to um, basically call the shots. So, literally. Sing four, slate 50, take two. Yeah, take two. Take three. At the moment, um, the production is going quite well. The snag we've had with the schedule is that uh, yesterday we were shooting and the weather just turned on as well, so we were shooting in the middle of Love Park. Reset. It's going great, um, bar and weather. Um, everything's going great. It's, um, it's it's as you would as you would expect, really. Yeah, it's been a good three days. Uh, Obviously a normal film project, the only outcome is the film itself and so the quality of the film is, is everything that you're, you're looking for. But with this, uh, because it's the kind of project that it is, it's, it's about giving people an experience, giving people a chance to try uh, filmmaking, to see what it's actually like to be on set, to have lights pointing at you, to have cameras pointing at you, to have people shouting instructions, to understand what goes into actually preparing a film shoot. Uh, and so, I mean, the film that we've got is, uh, I, well, I hope time will tell, uh, that it's a good enough film. The fact that everybody has come together in the way they have and they have all picked up so everybody's gone away having learned something. Uh, and to those of us who do this for a living, that's really gratifying to see people uh, actually understanding what it is they think they want to get into and understanding what it is that people like me do for a living. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's been a good three days. It's been a, a, a tense three, uh, three days for, for some people, but uh, I've, I've known how to shoot. It's a speaking role, and it might only be one line, but that the minute you open your mouth, you're into a whole new league, and it's just you kind of it oh, doesn't get that that is a big deal, but it is. You know it's a big deal. It's not something you have to defend. Awesome time. Oh, he's doing his leads again. Uh, yeah, obviously the proof of the pudding's in the eating. We were going to edit the film together. Yeah, we've got a, a, a couple of few, a couple of little pickup shots that we need to get to just add details here and there. Uh, there'll be problems with the sound that we need to fix, but that's always the way. Cars drive past at the wrong moment. You need to grab another line. There are all those kind of. Uh, challenges ahead of us, but that's that's the post-production process, which is another thing that the people involved are going to learn about over the next few weeks. And uh, hopefully, end of the year, sometime in the new year, we'll all be able to sit down and see what everybody did.